The balanced equation for the hydrogenation of acetylene to ethane is given below. For every two moles of hydrogen reacted, one mole of acetylene gets reacted. So the mole ratio of H2 to C2H2 would be moles of H2 over moles of C2H2. would be equal to two moles of H2 over one mole of C2H2, which is equal to two. Now, for every two moles of hydrogen reacted, one mole of ethane is formed. So the mole ratio of C2H6 formed to C2H2 consumed would be K moles of C2H6 over 2 K moles of H2 0.5 so that's our A now moving on to V to identify the limiting reactant, we have to compare the actual mole ratio of H2 to C2H2 with that of stoichiometric ratio. So our mole ratio N of H2 over NC2H2 that are fed 1.5 moles of H2 over moles of C2H2. So one mole of C2H2 right here. And that's equal to 1.5. 1.5. And since 1.5 is uh, <clears throat> smaller than the stoichiometric ratio two. So since 1.5 is smaller than 2, our limiting reactant would be H2. So our H2. That's our limiting reactant. And the excess reactant is C2H2. Now, we need to find the percent excess of C2H2. In order, in order to find our percent excess, we uh, assume that the amount of acetylene fed is one mole. Then we calculate the amount of acetylene that is required to react with 1.5 K moles of H2. So let's do that. Point seven five moles of C two H two. Point seven five moles of C two H two. We subtract the amount of acetylene required from the amount of acetylene fed to find the percent excess. So percent excess of C two H two is equal. So we just subtracted the amount of acetylene required from the amount of acetylene fed and we divided it by the required amount of acetylene to obtain the moles of acetylene in excess. We times it by 100 times 100% which is equal to 33.3%. And that's how we calculate the percent excess of C2H2. Now we move on to our C. First, we convert the ethane mass in tons per year to kilograms per second. So that's what we're going to do.
that gives us our mass flow rate. Um, we can cancel. We are left with our kilograms and our seconds. So the mass flow rate of H2, if you pause it and calculate it, you should get 20.6 kilograms per second. And that's it for this problem. I hope you get it, and I wish you the very best of luck. Goodbye.